like I said, I'm Christy, and that's Letitia. Letitia. Hi, Christy. Hi, Letitia. <laughs> thank you. I like your um, shoes. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, the new album, As We Die, is it's on fabulous. your record, Monster Man. It is. Um, do you have any favorite songs on that album? All of them. All They're of them. All good, man. <laughs> One till yeah. the end. Any influences? We wouldn't have put them on there if they weren't good. Yeah. No, it's just good songs. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah the... Um, we listen to a lot of music and most of it, like I'd say 99% of it sucks. And so we was like, we don't want to be one of the ones that sucks. We was yeah. like, let's be one of the ones that don't suck. And like, what's, so what's... the only songs we left on the album was the ones that didn't suck. <laughs> so one through, all the way through is good. That's good. You said you listen to a lot of uh, music. What's one of the artists you've been listening to lately that you dig? Tina Turner. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Really? Like, Tina and I. I mean, you know, we like the way she like started out smooth, but then she'll get a little rough. Mm -hmm. And like that kind of reminds us of what we do. And uh, you know, all the classic rock and roll, you know, like early metal, like, uh, you know, the real punk rock, like all of it, like it's just rock and roll to us, baby. And like, we like it all, you know, it's like shit we grew up on, we still like, you know, it's like, if it's a good rock and roll, it stands the test of time. That's what we, that's what we want to make. We want to make, we want to make stuff that, that lasts, not just stuff that's in the moment, you know? Yeah. That's what makes for great music, in my opinion. Um, in your opinion, how has punk rock changed in the last 15, 20 years? Sometimes you get paid now. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's always good. <laughs> it's, it's commoditary, you know? It's like it's like anything else. Like, uh, like whenever you, you brand something, you know, you label something, and it, it, it becomes like a, a, a commodity, you know, you, you have a fashion, you have a identity with it, you know, but rock and roll is always going to be rock and roll, and, 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 and to me, good punk rock is good metal, and good whatever, it's just good rock and roll, and, and it's still that, that same thing, it's like, it doesn't matter if it's the 60s or if it's 2060, it's like, it's, it's good rock and roll, it's, it's the energy behind it, it's the belief behind it, it's the... It's what you put into the live, you know, aspect of that music. Yes, I agree. And there's nothing like live music, the energy. So I'm just gonna say I'm really excited to catch you guys today. Yeah. Who's sure. gonna catch us? You gonna catch it? <laughs> you gonna okay. catch it? You gonna spread it? You gonna like? You know? <laughs> you gonna catch it, spread it. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. It's like a disease. Um, how was it playing the recent Misfits reunion tour? Wild stories. Bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. So I was wondering if you had a piece of advice you could give your younger selves. What would it be? Oh, sure. <laughs> you know what? No regrets, man. Shit is what it is. It's like when you're young, you're fucking dumb, full of cum, and you're just <laughs> fucking like fired up, and just, you know, it's like, and you can always look back on you know 2020 and try to fucking fix it, but. You know, we all did the best we could, yeah. and like, you know, I mean, he's a legend, he fucking did what he did, you know, they did what they did, you know, it's like, people all over the world resonate with it, you know, it's like, you know, youth is for the young, just enjoy yourself, if you ain't hurt nobody good. Yeah. What would you learn if you went back and fixed it all? Yeah, true. Uh -huh. Now you fuck all that shit up now. Yeah. You know? It's like if you try to redo something, you never do it right. Yeah. It's the mistakes that make it what it is. Um, are there any bands on the Monster Man Records that you want us to check out and yeah. bands you're excited about? Uh, uh, what's going on? Wait, wait on it. <laughs> wait on it. Wait. Impress us. <laughs> Show us what you got. You know, it's like if we find something that's cool, whatever. You know. Have you had a chance to check out any of the bands playing tonight, the locals? Do you think this all just happens? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's time. Doing this shit all day. <laughs> um, yeah, there's some really great bands in there. Uh, uh, yeah. They're really excited to catch you guys, too, cool. so that's great. Um, we, we rarely get to check out the wondering. openers. It's like, and it's not that, like, you know, it's being dicks, like, oh, God, you know, we're too cool to yeah. check out the openers. It's no. just, like, we're busy putting on this shit, you know. <laughs> It's like, you know, we drive a long ways, like we're getting rest, you know, so we can put on our show, you know, whatever. It's like a lot of times we don't get, sometimes we do get to see a couple of openers, but, yeah. you know, most of the time we don't. Like, you know, it's just it's what it is. But, uh, 
you know, you, that's what you trust the promoter for. You hope, yeah. you, hope you put some decent openers. Yeah. Um, is there any advice that you can give to the up and coming bands? What to do, what not to do in the music industry? Probably too love much to what you're lift. doing, man, because yeah. fucking you ain't gonna make no fucking money. It's like, uh -huh. music industry is dead. You're in the t-shirt business now. It's like, <laughs> I mean, it's like, uh, music, you know, it's like, yeah, I mean, you just gotta love what you're doing. It's like, and hopefully somebody comes up with something new and exciting, you know? So, yeah. yeah. I was wondering, um, since you switched or have been vegan, have you had to change the type of bubble gum that you chew? Oh. <laughs> no? What type of bubble gum do you chew? Extra. Okay, cool. And is it difficult to maintain the vegan lifestyle on tour? No. <laughs> it's a bad no. bubble gum addiction. Cook. You bring it well, with I don't you? Cook. Oh, okay. Everybody else cooks. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was also wondering what makeup do you use? Clown. Okay. Clown. Oh. <laughs> Brand there. I need that kind of white on myself. Um, I think that's pretty that's much pretty it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, we didn't want to take up too much yeah, time, okay. and we thank you guys good. so much right. for doing this. Yes. We'll so. have a hold down. <laughs> it's gonna be a hold down. Awesome. Well, if you guys uh, want a drink or anything in there, just let us know, and it's feel, on us. Feel free to take pictures, do whatever you want. Like we it's will. gonna be a great show. Yeah, you guys yes. can take pictures of the whole show. Perfect. Thank you so much. That's what he's here for. <laughs>